What's going on everybody, Chewy Rifle here, and welcome to my Destiny video. In this video I'm actually going to be covering a pretty high possibility on how we're going to be uncovering the Sleeper Simulants. And actually some of this information that I'm giving you will be for a fact to the Sleeper Simulants. This heavy fusion rifle seems to be a hot topic going around the Destiny community on how we're going to be actually obtaining this. So on that note Guardians, sit back, relax, and listen in. This is about to be long and deep. Come on guys, that's not what she said. Let's get serious here. A lot of people have actually gave their conspiracies. Some have been shut down, and some are still in progress on whether or not they will be right. To start this off, there is actually this amazing Reddit post by the user Echolog that has pretty much this conspiracy that I'm about to be summarizing up to you guys and showing off what we should see on our road to the sleeper simulant. Just thought I'd throw out that Reddit user because he was a huge help with this whole thing I'm about to explain to you. So feel free to check out his post to further investigate this. Anyway, it's a conspiracy that I believe to be true on how and where we'll actually get this weapon starts off with triggering the gunsmith's memory to give you a quest for the sleeper simulant. And the way that we will trigger his memory is no other than the random fusion rifle relics that we find randomly by killing enemies. These can be found randomly throughout the entire Destiny PvE it seems. So yes, patrol, strikes, everywhere pretty much. And it doesn't matter what type of enemy you are killing to get these either. It is completely random, although I don't think this will actually drop from orcs, but it does drop from regular enemies. Just not bosses it seems like. Anyways, besides that point, it is rumored that his memory will be triggered by finding actually four different kinds of these bad boys. And how you can tell them apart is that they are numbered differently at the end, starting with FR001, FR002, 003, 004. These relics can be turned into the gunsmith for 200 gunsmith's reputation. And it seems like if you hold on to these, they don't actually drop, so you have to turn them in. That's what it seems like anyways, from my personal experience and from some other people commenting saying that. It is also speculated, not by that reddit post or anything, but from the description in the Destiny PD on how you obtain this weapon. It actually states that you have to collect 5 fusion rifle relics, which in my opinion kind of makes sense because there are 5 bounces to the sleeper simulates. It has that perk where it can bounce 5 times. Anywho, as you guys can see, these are actually the Dark Age Relics. Once you turn in all four, or five, or however many of these that you need, step one is presumably completed. This is speculated once again. This is not a for sure thing. It's just highly speculated, and you're about to find out why here soon. Anyways, to carry on with this rumor, once we finally get enough of these relics to the gunsmith, his memory will then be triggered. He will give you a quest, some believe it will actually be titled, Awaken the Simulant. In case you guys are wondering, why are we exactly speculating these random fusion rifle relics that we find to turn into the gunsmith will unlock the quest for the sleeper simulant is, well, because there's multiple reasons, so I hope you have time for me to explain some of them. For one, if you pay close attention to what you turn in before actually giving it to him, you will notice the weapon itself and the descriptions are actually hinting toward the sleeper simulant. Now bear with me guardians on this, this is actually my dug up research on how this is actually linking to Rasputin and the sleeper simulant. First off, this may come to a surprise for a lot of you. In Ghost Fragment Rasputin, titled Cade 6 Reminences, pretty much says that Cade is actually Rasputin, except Cade forgets. It's kind of strange, I have to admit, but in a way, does actually make sense. I mean, he is an Exo after all. And if you want to further investigate this, I'll leave the lore in the description for you guys to check out. It is said in the Ghost Fragment Rasputin, my old friend Andal, he used to stand here, right in this spot. He'd come up with these wild stories. He'd say, you know Cade, I've been examining the evidence and personally, I come to think it's you. You are Rasputin, legendary war mine, defender of Earth, and I wish you would remember that so you could reclaim your full power and save us all. And there's actually three ghost fragments to Rasputin. Skipping on to the third ghost fragment, it is said, forecasts unanimously predict terminal Vola Spa failure. And as you guys can see, Vola Spa, if you scroll over this fusion rifle relic, it mentions about it in the description. And speaking of descriptions for the sleeper simulants, it actually mentions the Midnight Existent which that is in Rasputin 3 lore. It also speaks of the Midnight Existions. It says, cancel population protection objectives. Format moral structures for Midnight Existions. Execute long hold for reactivation, whom is the creator of the Sleeper Simulant. Rasputin's logo, in case you guys didn't know, is actually on one of the Pocket Infinity perks, and also the ACD feedback fences, and it's even on the Sleeper Simulant weapon itself. 
I mean, it's right on the holster there. Not to mention, if you take a close look at the sleeper simulant and look at its design, you will notice it looks similar to the theme around in the secret underground room beneath Rasputin. I mean, as you guys can see, it does have a similar theme going on down here. I mean, yeah, that logo is all around in the Rasputin area. I mean, of course, it is the Rasputin logo, but I'm just saying, there's something fishy about this underground room. I mean, call me insane all you want, but once again, I'm just saying, this seems like a huge factor. I mean, being that the Rasputin is the creator of this weapon. So why wouldn't we exactly obtain this bad boy underneath the Rasputin? Okay, so for the next clue about these fusion rifle relics is the RAS that can be seen with these relics. That is also a clear indicator as well, pointing toward Rasputin. I mean, what else could RAS stand for? For the next clue will actually be this classified quest item. This is unknown at the moment of what it exactly does, but what we can tell is that it is the Vex technology, which that is how, in case you guys didn't know, Rasputin made the Pocket Infinity, ACD Feedback Fences, and the Sleeper Simulant. Rasputin made them all out of Vex technology, and parts of his Warsat. So that is why this quest item is actually speculating to be used to get the Sleeper Simulant, which I believe will once again begin with the Gunsmith. Once we get the quest from him, it will lead us toward this quest item to unlock the sleeper simulant. It is believed the gunsmith will actually send us out on a quest to retrieve this item, just like Fire 2 yet did in the Ishtar Sink, in order to create the Pocket Infinity. Except this time, we are going in and we'll be making it back out. Anyways, for the next part, this is where it's going to start to blow your mind. Well, it did mine. There were these legendary data pad relics uncovered in the Destiny database that contain upgradable nodes to them. From what we can tell with these, they make up some sort of passcode, and each tier actually has two choices. So within those two choices, it can also once again be a passcode of some sort. We just gotta figure out the combination with these choices. Also, in case you guys didn't think about it, these are also linking back to the possibility of the fusion rifle relics. There are supposedly four different kinds of those according to the Destiny database. Not positive, but these could possibly be linked once again. There is also a fifth of these data pads, but it has no nodes to it. And same goes to the other fusion rifle relics. They have no nodes to them for some reason. Those could possibly be the completed version that you will use later in the quest. It is rumored that these data pads will calibrate the four fusion rifles that we already gathered to get to this part of the quest. That is, assuming gathering those fusion rifle relics are correct. Another possibility of use with these data pads that were found in the Destiny database is that these could possibly be the passcode into Rasputin's door. Listen into this secret dialogue that is found by scanning this door to Rasputin's area in the Promethean Code mission. After all this time, how can we be sure Rasputin has the code? I already stole it once. Used my last copy making that stealth drive you blew up. That it was getting old anyway. Cade, your bypass codes aren't getting us through these doors. Omnigal screams have already been silenced. There's nothing in there but bad memories. Rasputin will give only what you need. Nothing more. Don't worry. The good stuff is below you. Keep moving. Pretty interesting. But anyways, besides the data pads, that isn't all of the quest items I have for you. Okay, going on to the next quest item that has been dug up in the database. This one is for a fact linked with the sleeper simulant. I'll explain more in a minute. As you all can see with this quest relic right here, that there is also nodes on this. Except these are a little bit different. Note the references on this pointing at Ishtar, fusion rifles, heavy weapons, war mines, war sats. This item itself could be the fusion core for the sleeper simulants. Who the heck knows? Anyways, there is also a completed version to this relic for the quest line purposes. As you can see, no nodes on this one, which means it is the completed version. Anyways, the reason why this is for a fact linked with the sleeper, as you can see, the subroutine Ikelos, I guess that's how it's pronounced, is in the description of the sleeper simulant. And if you guardians didn't notice, that wording is on this relic too. I mean, that right there is a clear speculation that this quest relic will be for sure a part of the sleeper simulant. On the other hand, for the midnight exigent parts in the sleeper simulant, that is actually the process that Rasputin activated immediately before the collapse when he first detected hostile life forms. The still in progress part of it though, 
is unknown on what that exactly is meaning. And if you guys notice the reactive core on this node, I believe this is hinting toward how we will use this relic to trigger an event. And I believe that event is below Rasputin in the underground room that no one understands how to get to. I mean, it is freaking obvious that we're going to be using this room for the sleeper simulant. The question is, how are we exactly going to be starting this quest? We now know for a fact this will be a part of a quest. To wrap up this video though, there is also a very sleeper simulant exotic relic as you guys can see. It could be possible that that relic I showed you before will activate the sleeper simulant by using it with this unfinished version. I mean it does state once again Ishtar, fusion rifles, heavy weapons, war mines, war sets. I mean it's an obvious speculation. Once again just a possibility though we could actually use that relic for something different. Anyways the last and final mission item that's been dug up that seems to be a part of the sleeper simulant is once again another Vex technology item. And the reason why this is speculated is that it is listed directly after the Sleeper Simulant Unfinished Version Relic. It is believed that this will be the last item that we need in order to actually obtain the gun itself. Kind of crazy, I know everybody, this is just freaking nuts how much we're actually uncovering about this weapon, and we still haven't got our hands on it. Anyways, this is the kind of power core that will activate the relic and turn it into the Galahorn 2.0 that we all want. Just like the first Vex technology item we have no idea about, it fits the shoe perfectly with the Sleeper Simulant. Vex technology involves Rasputin, and Rasputin involves the Sleeper Simulant. There you have it Guardians, this took me freaking forever to create, but I felt like this information needed to get out there to y'all. Hopefully I did make this clear to you all, I know this was a lot of information to process. And also I know it is a lengthy video, but there is a lot of information I need to cover in this one video just because it all revolves around this quest line and the sleeper simulant. Let's just say I wanted to cover as much as I could for you guys. Anyways, let the hunt begin, Guardians, and hopefully this video has helped uncover a lot of the mysteriousness with the sleeper simulant. And once again, I know there's a lot of conspiracies out there, but this one seems to fit the shoe perfectly on how to obtain the freaking weapon. For once, we have a conspiracy that is actually linked with the sleeper simulant. I mean, those quest items are definitely for sure going to be a part of the sleeper simulant. The question is, how are we going to get to that part? How are we going to actually start playing on that quest? And I truly believe that this information I'm giving you guys is how we're actually going to get our hands on it. One thing we know for a fact from this video though is that it does involve Rasputin and that it will be obtained in a quest and that quest seems to be very secretive seeming the whole community has talked about this weapon and none of us has actually gotten our hands on it. Well none that has made it known so far that is. I truly believe in the end the sleeper simulant will be unlocked underneath Rasputin. Once again I know I keep saying that but I'm pretty daggone sure. To be honest, I just find this extremely fascinating that this is still a mystery. It's pretty freaking awesome in my opinion. We actually have a mystery on our case in Destiny, and there is not many of those, let me tell you that much. But I'm gonna wrap up the video here. I hope you all enjoyed, and once again, this helps uncover a little bit of the mysterious side of the Sleeper Simulant for you. As always though, I'm gonna leave a friendly reminder at the end of the video. If you could, please remember to leave a like and or share the video. The more this video gets passed around or thumbs up, the more people will actually learn about this. And once again, I try to cover a lot of information about it. The support, by the way, is much appreciated, everyone. This has been your rifle, and remember, Guardians, to stay safe and don't sleep in pee. Peace out!